Well, following today's announcement by the Energy Secretary, Chris Hume, we invited him or any other minister in his department to appear in tonight's programme, but they weren't available. We then asked for any representative of the United Kingdom government, but again, no one was available. Stuart Hazeldean is Professor of Carbon Capture and Storage at the University of Edinburgh, and he joins me now. Um, why do you think this project has collapsed? Is it simply the money? It's basically down to the money, and of course I'm very glad to be available to help try and explain this. Uh, because we know from uh, the documentation which is now available that technically this project stacks up, technically the storage site works, the pipeline works, and the capture plant would work. And the whole st uh, speaking by Chris Hewn, the Secretary of State for Energy, about the pipeline being too long is total rubbish. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually an advantage, it's a positive to use an existing pipeline. The real problem is that this twofold, the problem is that this has been very slow, very complicated. It's gone through uh, three prime ministers, Tony Blair, Gordon Brown, and now David Cameron, all of whom claim to be enthusiastic about carbon capture and storage, none of whom has been able to deliver it. It's a project which has been extremely complicated and subject to a lot of Byzantine and quite unfair treasury rules and the government has consistently refused to take in, on board much of the risk and the risk problem about how much liability people are going to take is one of the key issues. The project... So hang on, just to explain yeah. that, so it's not, it's not just the amount of government subsidy. No. Where is the risk then, if, if the government's effectively going to pay for okay, it? Okay, there's been a lot of talk about how much this project will cost over the past two or three days. And we now know how much this project will cost, because we can read the documentation. And to make it, uh, the figures in there are pretty clear, that the project would cost £1,050 million, so it's about the sum of money on the table but then the Treasury adds another 300 million because it says you might uh, go over budget and it adds another 15 percent on top of that because it says we don't actually believe you've got your costs accurate so if I can just illustrate that domestically I want to make my house more energy efficient so I've got a thousand pounds I'll put that on the table Government comes along and says, actually, we want you to stump up another 500 just in case it goes wrong. We don't think you're actually going to spend that 500, but that's what we're going to call it. So it's not I actually. I thought you were going to produce a top hat and a rabbit. Then, no, no, right? but it's not actually a thousand million. It's not actually a thousand million that's on offer. This project now we see has to come in at about 600 or 700 million. And unless the government solves this type of risk-sharing approach, it's never going to deliver anything. Right.